what is up guys this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel and for redmi note 8 users i have something great custom room for you this is not the masik room this is not the miui rog room this is actually the mix of both of these rooms it has rog wallpaper some rog things and in settings you will see this is a miui rog like this mia 12.1 rog port and rog part 3 ind edition but this is kind of a masik room also so it's kind of a mix room which has the masik feelings like the masik settings some masik customizations including masik control center and also it has some things like rog wallpapers and some things like that so kind of a mix room but it's quite worthy to install it and this is something interesting because if you need two looks in one custom room it's quite great and something unique for your device now make sure to watch this video till the end i'm gonna share with you my experiences about this custom room now let's get started first of all guys let me show you the camera as this has something interesting camera feelings it has the long exposure feature available as you can see moving crowd neon trails silky water and these kind of things are pre-installed so you don't need to use anything as you can see use a tripod it has all these kind of things six long exposure filters are available and you can use these kind of things and if you're a camera lover this is kind of a great thing for you and all other things are just kind of a same like this ultra wide and the normal one and the portrait mode night side everything is perfectly fine here you have all the main settings options available let me show you like the watermark option focus and shoot and customize where you can customize the camera modes if you want to the colors which you can adjust a lot more things are available so just go for it and try it out this is kind of interesting thing if you want to use a bill and also want to use gcam i have enabled all i have also installed the gcam here the gcam which i'm using right now is this nikita gcam 1.1 nikita gcam version based on gcam 7.4 and if you want full review you can check out my previous video i already made a video on this gcam already and it has all main working features everything else is fine here camera mode portrait mode night sight and a lot more things are perfectly fine i'm using from approximately past two days this custom room and feeling quite satisfied this this camera is quite good the room is quite smooth you should try out for sure now let's take a look at the Magisk Manager's safety net status and the Google Play Protect certification. If you check out the Magisk safety net status, unfortunately, if you use Magisk 20.4, the Magisk safety net will be broken, so you'll not be able to use banking apps. So I'll recommend you to you choose the Magisk 20.3 if you want to. Still, I'm not sure because I don't use Magisk 20.3 most of the time. So go to the Google Play Store settings as the safety net status is not passed, which means the device is also not certified so this is kind of a little bit of issue but for not for all the guys it's not an issue for some guys it might be the issue so you can use the magic 20.3 if you want to guys let me show you the wallpaper section in this custom room whenever you open the wallpaper section here you have these three options available so first of all you have the aod wallpaper options available so you can adjust the aod wallpaper if you want to you have the lock screen wallpaper customization and home screen wallpaper customization as expected we have the super wallpapers also available like the home and the red planet so obviously i'll recommend you not to use the super wallpapers at any cost because you are user of redmi note 8 so super wallpaper is not not fully compatible with your device and it will just hang your device a lot you will get a lot of lags and these kind of things as you already know online wallpapers a lot more available you can choose the more online wallpapers and it will be redirected to the theme store and go and install all these wallpapers the wallpaper are wallpapers are quite Quite good and quite great now let's talk about the theme store all the same things are available like the other MIUI base rooms the themes wallpapers dynamic wallpapers ringtones fonts we have the always on display customization features available always on display in this build is quite amazing available but I will recommend you not to use always on display because it will drain your battery and maybe a little bit of bug is also available in always on display in my case because whenever I enable the always on display for more than 30 minutes the device gets hanged and I had to reboot I had to force reboot my device then it will work 
icons customizations are available you can choose any icon from here go to the my account and go to the theme components here you can what are the things you can adjust you can adjust the lock style status bar icons messaging dial pad and these kind of things you can adjust like if we talk about the icons i have enabled these kind of icons like the major one and you have a lot of icons options available these four or five themes i have already applied the external ui hydrogen minimal and results funny miui mizo and round these are the things you already get pre-installed we have the default icons like this which is rog icons so if you need these kind of icons you can install these kind of icons also which is quite amazing and you can apply any icons from here if you need third party themes you can apply third party themes also directly from here i have applied these four themes and these four themes if you need you can comment below i'll provide the link in the description for all these four theme files you can apply directly and all these themes looks very very interesting go and apply any theme from here which is sterling ui this is one of the great themes for me till now and i'm using from some time and i'm quite satisfied this is the default look of this theme which looks very interesting and if you talk about the control center that looks also cool as you can see everything is themed here almost every icon is themed here and this looks very very interesting you can play PUBG in quite good mode that it does not have any lags, it does not have any heating issues. I'm using them some time, it's quite good because as I already told you, I'm using this build from past two days and I'm fully satisfied as you can see, let me show you here. You have these kind of options that are available which is the game turbo in Xiaomi. If you don't know how's the game turbo, you can just install the Xiaomi room, Xiaomi device custom room and you can properly feel how game turbo works and it will increase performance it will help you to get some more some a lot of things in gaming so just go for it and install it overall the pubg experience is quite good because i didn't face any frame drops i didn't face any lags or whatever else no extra battery drainage at all it was quite good it was quite amazing as this has some mixed feelings regarding Masik and ROG things, let me show you it has some ROG wallpapers pre-installed as you can see these are some ROG wallpapers which are pre-installed and which you, if you want to apply them, you can apply them directly. These are some offline wallpapers which you can apply directly from here. Just click here and you'll be able to apply these kind of cool looking wallpapers. Just click on apply, click on both or home or the lock screen whatever else you want to choose and this is how your wallpaper will look like these are some cool kind of things which you get in this build because it is the, it has some mixed feelings of masik and rog room which is quite good now let's move on to the settings first of all if we have noticed the settings layout it's same like masik because masik says masik room has no dividers as you can see the location option is available here and all other things are same like the masik and when you open the my device option you can see this is minui 12.1 rog part 3 ind edition for Redmi note 8 and which has a security patch of 1st of july 2020 which is not kind of bad not kind of old but not kind of a newest one it has an android version 10 as expected genome kernel is pre-installed wln bluetooth connection sharing all the things are same as this is kind of a masik room so which means you have the masik features available when you open the lock screen you have the always on display feature available here as expected we have other things include the always show notifications and these kind of things where you can adjust the charging animation if you want to and the pocket mode option available too. When we go to the display mode in screen size in screen customizations you have the display mode like the screen display size you can adjust the brightness level the here you also have the sunlight mode option available too so if you want to enable the sunlight mode you can enable that so these kind of things are quite amazing dark mode option as expected system animation and interpolation which you can adjust and control center and notification shade where you can use the new control center as i'm using you can also disable the control center if you want to hide info toggle which is quite great and here you have the number of notification icons customizations which you only get in masik custom room battery icon style customization and the notch customization etc all other things are same and let me show you one more thing it has a screenshot in any app option so it will take four screenshots in some secure apps which are not allowed to take screenshots sound and vibration notification are kind of the same thing in home screen you have a little bit of options like blur affected folders and icon title style and some things like that 
and here you can adjust the zero screen and you can check out the home screen with app drawer without app drawer and some things like that the same kind of things which you get in all Mi A12 so it has all the main features of Mi A12 if you don't have any Mi A12 just go for it and install this build right now password fingerprint face lock all of these things are perfectly fine you should try out this build on your device for sure so if you want to install this build it's quite simple install the zip file and everything is done i'm not going to share with you the installation because it's same like the other builds and now this was all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to share this video also now this was all thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day